In this video, we will look at how ADH is released and how it causes more water to be reabsorbed. When the body is dehydrated, the water potential in the blood decreases, meaning there is less water. The osmoregulatory centre in the hypothalamus detects the water potential, and if the water potential is lower, the osmoregulatory centre sends a signal to the pituitary gland to secrete ADH. ADH is produced by the hypothalamus, but is stored and released by the pituitary gland. It is thought that as blood with a low water potential passes by the cells of the osmoregulatory centre, the water moves out of the cells into the blood causing these cells to shrink. This is what causes the signal to be passed to the pituitary gland. ADH is secreted into the bloodstream by the pituitary. The ADH will travel to the kidneys in the blood. The target cells of ADH are the cells of the collecting duct. ADH binds to protein receptors on the cell surface membrane of the cells of the collecting duct. These protein receptors are transmembrane proteins and cause changes inside the cell. This activates the enzyme phosphorylase. Phosphorylase causes vesicles to fuse with the cell surface membrane. These vesicles contain bits of cell membrane with aquaporins attached to them. Aquaporins are channel proteins that allow water to pass through them. As there are more aquaporins embedded in the cell membrane, more water moves from the collecting duct into the interstitial region. From the interstitial region, the water moves from the interstitial region into the capillaries and is reabsorbed. This process is important because it prevents the body from dehydration and it allows more water to be reabsorbed from the collecting duct, meaning a very small volume of concentrated urine will be produced.